political class and the media want us to separate us into groups. By religion, they want to say Catholic, Protestant, Jew, Mormon, Muslim. By class, they want to say you're white collar, you're blue collar, you're union. They, they want to call me an Italian American. They want, they want to call my wife a Taiwanese American. They want to call my friend Dan a Hispanic American. But you know what? I'm just plain old American. My wife is just plain American. Dan is just plain American. And our next speaker is my, I'm proud to say, is my friend and fellow American, Lenny McAllister. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing this morning? It's good to see you here. I want to say thank you for having me here this morning. And more importantly, I want to thank you for taking the time to protest the direction you see our country moving in. Now, we all know that the ability to protest in a country where our voice is heard in City Hall in Raleigh, North Carolina, and in Washington, D.C., is a dear right that we have because of the sacrifices of other proud Americans. Because we honor that gift of freedom, it is our responsibility to speak up and ensure that our voices are reflected in our government because it is the power of our republic that calls for the involvement of the republic, namely the citizens of the United States of America. Those citizens speaking up in the best interest of our future. Now we know that when you're involved in a protest, it takes two components. And it's made up of the word protest. So let's look at the word protest before we continue. First, let's look at the prefix pro. P-R-O. It means forward. It means in favor of. It stands for development and for positivity. So when we come together today to protest the direction of our country, expansive government as well as expensive government, we come together not to complain about America, but to forward the American dream. We are not merely against the president's budget, or against the governor's plans. We are in favor of the most efficient, the most practical, and the most successful actions for the future of North Carolina and of the United States of America. We criticize to be constructive. We are proactive to move forward to a better America for her citizens. The second part of the word protest is test. It means to validate. It means to access. It means to examine. So when we come together to protest and examine the direction our elected officials are taking us in, we must also validate, access, and examine our positions and actions as well, from our votes putting the elected officials in office to our actions furthering the best interests of our communities. Many object to what is called an increased socialist interpretation of government's roles in our lives. Yeah. But today, I ask for us to make it an objective to take a more social interpretation of the citizens' role in our lives. Yeah. 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 Every November, we have a chance to vote against a socialist agenda, but every single day, we have a chance to choose between not or having a higher social awareness. Because until we can vote to express our feelings once again about higher spending and more taxation, we must focus on how we spend our time and our energy to close the deficits in our schools and in our communities. We can grow America stronger even in the face of budgets that grow more expensive and government that grows more expansive, 
until we decide that we can change the face of our government each and every November. A socialist, larger government approach focuses on the power of government. The social awareness that we call for today focuses on the power of you, the people. Our great constitution does not start with we the government. It proudly and correctly states we the people. this great country. Protest, pro, to forward or be in favor of, test, to examine. Therefore, we must examine what we can do, we the people, right now, starting today. We must move forward with what we can do, starting today. We must be in favor of the American way, even as we protest the way America is going. our country. First, we must ensure that we, as well as our neighbors, learn more about our communities around us at all times. No more excuses. Yeah. And this is why many people have used brawn and backbone to defend this great country. Therefore, we must use our minds and our souls to improve this great country. the gift of citizenry, knowing that it is a gift that has been bought for, a gift that grows with each American accomplishment, and a gift that grows in importance as we face a runaway social and political mentality that falsely believes that bigger is better, that more money guarantees more success, and that more government is more American. I didn't think so. Everyday Americans must know in our hearts that government is for the people, not the other way around. It is time to bring politics back to the people, and it will take all of us as ambassadors of that message to temper the government spending, government expansion, and government impropriety that threatens our quality of life and our ability as we the people to improve America. <laughs> to make America a perfect union despite our current situation and subsequent outcry today, we must live our political and social rhetoric in our lives and not continue to jam real life into the canned packaging of our rhetoric. Our failure to move our energy from emotionalism to activism is an American crisis that no stimulus money, bank bailout, nor government program will ever fix. <laughs> Starting today, we must provide the sound leadership on the ground and in our communities so that we can change the sound bite mentality of politicians that sell us down a dangerous political path of increased debt and decreased emphasis on the individual American citizen. It is your sound leadership being voiced today that will make both sides of the political aisle put into motion what you hear their mouths keep saying. In protest, we cannot testify about compassionate conservatism if we are not willing to do the work to show our compassion with tangible actions that successfully replaced the failed social programs in our cities since the 